Hey everyone, my name is Kelvin and welcome back to another watercolor tutorial for Procreate. In today's video we're going to paint this sort of abstract uh, rooster illustration. And it looks a little bit complicated, but actually uh, the only detail is really in the face. Everything else is really easy to do and uh, I think in general uh, this project is suitable for beginners. So I'm going to start out here with a blank watercolor paper texture uh, as well as the regular watercolor brush kit. And uh, as always, I'll put links to everything I use in the description down below. To start this one, uh, I'm just going to select a blank layer underneath the paper texture and I'm going to do a kind of a light gray wash. So I'll just choose a kind of a light gray, uh, warm gray like that. And I'll grab the uh, abstract round brush. And maybe at a medium size, uh, I'll just sort of roughly fill this in. That looks pretty good. And I think I'll go over it with the uh, water blender just to smooth out some of the hard edges. And next I'm going to move on and do the uh, face here. And this is really easy. I'm just going to do all of this with the uh, fine liner pen brush. And I'm just going to fill in some red here. Uh, and I'm also going to do the beak as a yellow. And I'll show you how to do the uh, eye after that's done. I forgot to mention this earlier, but I did do the face on a separate layer. And I'm going to do the eye on uh, another layer. And for that, I'm just going to choose a kind of a light red color, I think something like that. And I'll use the uh, fine liner pen, just like I did for the face. And I'll just draw the circle of the eye like that. Then after that, I'm going to use a darker, a, actually a pretty dark red color, and uh, add a little bit of a smaller size for that brush. I'll just kind of outline the eye like this. And then I'll draw the pupil. It's really easy, just a little circle. And then I'm going to add a highlight uh, by adding a little white dot, just like that. So there we go, that's it for the face. And I'll go ahead and merge all those layers together. Uh, but I won't merge the body with the face. And I'm gonna make a new layer uh, that's underneath the uh, face. And I'm gonna move on to the uh, sort of pattern of feathers on the rooster. And for this one, it's really simple. It's just gonna be black and white. So I'm gonna grab a kind of a black, a warm, dark gray, something like that. And I'm gonna do all the feathers with the abstract round, maybe at almost the largest size. And I'm gonna start on the neck with um, sort of smaller brush strokes like this because I'm gonna try to indicate smaller feathers. But as I move down along the uh, body here, they're gonna be larger feathers, so I'll do some larger brush strokes. And it's pretty abstract. And um, after that, I'm just gonna use the water blender and just kind of do a couple of passes with that. Not in every, every place, but just in a few areas, just to kind of break it up a little bit. There we go, I think that looks pretty good. And I wanna add some kind of speckles on this, so I'm gonna select pure white. I'll make a new layer, and I think this time I'm gonna grab the uh, stippling brush. And at a pretty large size, I'm just gonna do a few passes with that one. And once that's done, I can go ahead and merge all the uh, layers for the body together, and then move on to the feet. And for those, I'll do them on a separate layer, and I think I'm gonna choose you know, maybe a kind of medium beige color, something similar to the uh, the original wash, but maybe just a little bit darker. And I'm gonna do that with the uh, abstract round brush. But this time I'm gonna use it at a really small size and just kind of quickly rough those out. And it's optional, but I think it might be good to go over it again with a slightly darker version of that color, just to add some kind of shadows. And I'll use the water blender just in a few areas just to make it just a little bit softer. Those look pretty good, but they are a little bit too dark just for my taste, so I'll lighten those up a little bit. There we go, and once that's done, I can go ahead and merge everything together onto one layer and do a couple of uh, ink outlines. So I'll make a new layer and I'll select um, almost pure black, actually a really, really dark gray, and I'll grab the fine liner pen. And at a kind of a small size, actually, I'm just gonna add some random details, just come some kind of uh, abstract lines like this. And there we go, this one is all done. Um, like I said, it's a lot easier than it looks, and I think this is a project suitable for pretty much anyone. And uh, it prints out really well, and I'm really satisfied with the way it turned out. Now, I was looking at pictures of roosters, and I realized there's quite a huge variety of them, and that's also why I wanted to kind of recommend this project for you guys, because if you look online, you can see there's so many varieties, so many variations of color, uh, and I think you could use this technique to create a really interesting and elaborate uh, series of rooster paintings. 
And that pretty much wraps it up. But as always, thank you so much for your support. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.